On the Sunday shows this week, Israel's prime minister lobbies against a deal with Iran. They're not giving up even one centrifuge. And the Kennedys reflect on JFK's death 50 years later. That was a really terrible time in, in our country's history. For National Journal, I'm Zach Toombs. Diplomats from Iran, the U.S., and other world powers will soon revive talks over the nation's controversial nuclear development program. A week ago, these countries almost struck a deal to lift some economic sanctions on Iran in exchange for a suspended nuclear program. And for the second straight week, Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu hit the Sunday shows to say that's letting Iran off too easy. All that pressure, all these years to build up the sanctions regime, and it's finally working. If you give it up now, when you have that pressure, what leverage will you have when you've eased the pressure? And days after 39 House Democrats voted with Republicans to roll back certain Obamacare standards for health plans, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand says that's understandable, but it does not show a split in her party. They're just responding to the worries of their constituents. Did you feel misled by Obama? He should have just been more specific. Those plans should never be so offered. So were you misled? He should have just been specific. While Republican Kelly Ayotte wants to roll it back. The president said that he fumbled the rollout. It's time for a timeout, which I've been calling for, so that we can go back to the drawing board and really talk about bipartisan solutions for health reform. And as preparations are made to commemorate JFK's death, his nephew Patrick Kennedy and niece Kathleen Kennedy Townsend sat with Fox News Sunday and faced a difficult question. Do you believe that Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone assassin? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to solve that problem. And so what I'm going to do is focus on things that I can do to make a difference. Dallas has prepared a ceremony at Dealey Plaza, the site of that assassination, for Friday, November 22nd. That will include a moment of silence at 12.30 local time, the exact minute the president was shot. For National Journal, I'm Zach Toombs.